What's up, you guys? Welcome to my YouTube. And we're going to take these off because they're giving a glare. But my name is Javaris, and this is my first video. We out here making YouTube channels. And as you can tell by the title of this video, this is just going to be about the different types of people that you will meet in college. Some of these may be good, some may be bad. If you fall into a category that you think is bad, I mean, don't shoot the messenger. All right, so we just go jump right on in. So the first type of person or people that you'll meet when you get to college is going to be like the money maker. Or actually, I'm going to call this the entrepreneur. I think that's a better name for it. So the entrepreneur. So the entrepreneur is going to be those people who they either own their own business or they have some type of side hustle to make a little extra money. So these are people who, you know, they make cut hair, they take pictures, girls who do makeup, they would fall into that category. Entrepreneurs can sometimes get annoying because they always trying to like promote their business. But I would definitely recommend if you have a friend that falls into this category, definitely support them because they're going to need help establishing themselves on the big campus. I mean, these people can be persistent and aggressive. I mean, some, you got to hit them. No, bro, I don't want a haircut. I didn't want one yesterday. I want one today. And I mean, no shade to them. I would love to be in this category of people, but uh, team hashtag no talent over here. But hey. And we go go ahead and throw them forex traders into that category as well. The next type of person is one of my favorites is the wannabes. So these are the people that you, or at least I can see right through. You can tell that they're just not being true to themselves. They're trying too hard just to be known and seen around campus. Now, don't get me wrong. College is definitely the time that you want to, you know, if you didn't like per se who you were in high school, college definitely is the time to get that fresh start. But these are the people who are taking that to the extreme. It's like, bro, we all know you was lame in high school. Cut it out. You're not fooling me. You might be fooling them, but you ain't fooling me. Now, throughout this video, I'm not going to be telling you, like, which type of person you should and shouldn't be, except for this one. Do not, you don't want to be a wannabe. Just don't be a wannabe. And it's more so for what? Like, we grown. You got 20-year-olds still trying to be popular. Grow up. The next type of person, or actually people that you will meet on your campus will be the locals. The locals are people who, they do not go to your school. They probably don't go to any school, but they just live in the city or the area near where your school is located. So I go to UGA, that's in Athens. We call them the Athens locals. Now you got the entrepreneurs and you the locals are bad, but nothing's worse than like a local entrepreneur. I'm telling you that now, just a heads up. But even though the locals don't go to your school, you'll always see them at different parties or functions. And if your school has like a downtown or bar area, you'll definitely see them at the different bars. And I've heard at some campuses, they be like walking around people's student center. So they, they actually be like engaging with students that I don't think, I haven't seen it too much at UGA, but that's just something to look out for. All right, next up, we have the teacher's pet. I mean, it is, it's just like what it sounds like. This is the student who's gonna go above and beyond to make sure they're on their professor's good side. And I mean, nothing's wrong with that because sometimes you might need that little boost at the end of the semester. But these are just annoying people. You'll, you'll find them really quick when you get to college. These are just those students who they ask questions they already know the answer to. They just do entirely too much. I got some professors I should have been a teacher's pet for. All right, so the next type of person you'll meet on your campus will be the move promoter. So this is the people who are always, they know about every move. If there's a party, they know about it. And what's funny about them is they'll promote a party that they're not even hosting. These are gonna be the people you see posting on Snapchat, posting on their Instagram, parties that they have nothing, they're getting no gain out of it. They just want as many people there as possible because they want to be lit. But I will say, you will want one of these people to be in your friend group because it's gonna be some weekends, especially freshman year, where it ain't gonna be much to do. So if you got a person who know a move, you want them to be in your friend group for sure. Now the next type of person you'll meet on your campus is gonna be the clout chaser. Now don't confuse the clout chaser with the wannabe. See, the clout chaser, they, they've always had clout, and I put that in quotes. But the wannabes is new to them. I mean, Amigo said it best. The, this group of people, they will do anything for clout. Whatever it takes for them to be the center of attention and have all eyes on them, they're going to do it. They're gonna, they need it. They, they seek attention. But keep in mind, these aren't necessarily always popular people. See, whether a lot of people like them or a lot of people don't like them, they're known and they're fine with that. They're the type of people that any publicity, see, messing up, talking shit, any publicity is good publicity for them, regardless. I mean, if you had to be one, I at least say be a clout chaser than a wannabe. Like a wannabe, that's the lowest of the low, in my opinion. All right, moving on to the next one. I think, what are we on, like seven now? The next type of person you will meet in college will be the player. 
And don't get confused. This role can be taken by both guys and girls. A lot of people tend to think only guys can fill this role, but girls can be players too, and they are. I mean, I ain't gotta get too much into it. We all know what a player is. I mean, they it's like they always are booed up with somebody, but never really in a true relationship. So, and again, I'm not telling you what you should and should not do. If you wanna be a player, that's on you. I'm just giving a heads up and a warning for those who coming on these college campuses. But also the other day I overheard a girl, she said, oh, I can't wait to get to college so I can get away from the, these players. And I don't know who go tell her, but they stronger than ever in college. So they ain't going nowhere for a while. Next up, we have Mr. and Miss SGA. And I called to this because nine times out of 10, they probably are an SGA. But these are just those students on campus that are just super, super involved. Now these, these aren't like clout chasers who just join orgs just so people can know them. These are people who actually join and they're actually involved in these orgs. I mean, they damn near in every org on campus. So this is that student, like when you were in high school, if y'all had like senior superlatives, they were probably voted most likely to succeed. That is that student. They probably also have a high GPA and also they're like probably known well among the administration on your campus. I mean, you can love them or hate them, but they be on this shit. You can't deny them that. So the last type of person that we're gonna talk about today is the baby senior. So this role is usually taken up by a freshman or a sophomore and pretty much their life's goal is to become friends with as many juniors and seniors as possible. Now, they also fall under the category of a uh, clout chaser, but I want to give it its own role because they deserved it. They put in so much work, they deserve it. So they, I guess they just want to appear cool to their other freshman peers, so they're going to be friends with as many upperclassmen as possible. And nothing's wrong with that, especially as a freshman, it's good to have like upperclassmen as a guide, but if your whole friend group consists entirely of upperclassmen, I mean, do what you want, do what you want. Take a shot every time I say that, but seriously, you know, it's on you. But yeah, pretty much they spend their freshman and sophomore year butt kissing upperclassmen. And then when the upperclassmen graduate, they looking crazy because they have no friends. So these are those people who are like juniors and seniors who have a whole bunch of underclassmen friends because all the friends in their class, I mean, don't mess with them because no, no shade, like no shade, I'm just saying. So that wraps up this video. I think I did about nine different types of people you'll meet in college. If you want me to do a part two, let me know in the comments because I definitely got a few more that I didn't mention in this video that I can talk about also. Again, thank you for coming to my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time.